Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW. It could be practically almost any BMW with a turbo engine guys. If you have problems where you have uh, low boost or under boost condition, stay with us, we'll explain the top three things that can cause that. All that will be covered in this video today. Of course, it could be other things as well, but those are the three most common ones we see here at the shop. And one of those is uh, actually a little bit tricky. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, okay, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. On BMWs, even more than that. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in uh, return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. Now, if you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money. So, we have that BMW here guys, with the turbo engine, four cylinder, 2.0 turbo engine, 240 horsepower. If you have, okay, under boost condition or low boost, okay, not having enough uh, pressure built by the turbo. Number one thing, okay, is to inspect the wastegate actuator. The wastegate is actually on the exhaust system and that, okay, right here, okay, that's the wastegate door right here. Uh, uh, that wastegate, okay, let me, let me show you, okay, I'm trying to focus here, give me a second. Okay, that's the wastegate right there. Here's an arm that connects to the wastegate actuator. You may have a mechanical one that's controlled by vacuum or an electronic one. Now, if that wastegate is leaking, sometimes uh, uh, it may not be adjusted correctly. It may be open here to where you can screw that one more in or out and that can adjust the wastegate to where it's loose or it's tight and it's open. That can actually cause guys, okay, under boost. Another thing, uh, the actuator itself, it has a membrane. If it's malfunctioning, it may not have, okay, uh, or if it's stuck, it may not close all the way and the wastegate may be affected as well. Another thing that you may experience, problems with the solenoid that opens, okay, the, uh, uh, the wastegate right here or vacuum lines that are leaking or disconnected. That's number one thing. Number two, diverter valve, guys. If that valve that is uh, actually located on the turbo, right there where that hole is, if that diverter valve is malfunctioning, you can easily get under boost, okay, condition and not having enough boost because of a bad diverter valve. Number three, we're talking about, about uh, we're talking about bad turbocharger. Turbocharger that's bad, that can easily cause that as well. Or it could be caused by something really simple, such as, uh, cracked intake holes, uh, um, uh, excuse me, intercooler holes, uh, and uh, actually leaking intercooler. That is quite common as well. So make sure you don't have leaks in the hoses. Make sure that they're not disconnected, that they're connected. Inspect the diverter, inspect vacuum lines, wastegate, and then I'll go to the turbo. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having a BMW. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.